Uh, so Spanish food is incredible. It's not very well known here in the States. We don't have a lot of Spanish restaurants like we do Italian or French. Uh, but they, they use a lot of olive oil in pretty much all of their cooking, which makes for an awesome flavor. Uh, they use a lot of potatoes and meat and vegetables and not a lot of spices, surprisingly. They don't like spicy food, even mildly spicy food. They think it's really spicy. <laughs> so there's a lot of misconceptions there, like, oh, Spanish food is, you know, similar to Mexican food, but it's night and day difference. So some of the main dishes I enjoyed while in Madrid were uh, paella, which I'm sure lots of people have heard of, uh, just incredibly delicious, uh, a rice seafood dish made with a spice called saffron, which gives it its yellow coloring. And uh, you have just, just different seafood on top, like like shrimp and crawfish and scallops, and it's just incredible. And then you have something in Spain. It's kind of the kind of the regional famous dish called cocido madrileño. So it's kind of a chickpea stew, and they serve it in three parts. So first they bring out the broth, the, the, the chickpeas, the garbanzo beans, which are the same thing, and the meat were prepared in. So they bring out the broth with noodles, and you eat that, and then they take it away. And then they bring out the garbanzo beans with the vegetables in a bowl. So you eat that, and it's been soaking in, in juices and uh, spices, so it, it has an amazing flavor. And then they take that away, and then they bring out the meat, and you eat that. So that's kind of how Spaniards serve their meals and courses. So generally, a meal appointment will look like a soup or a salad to begin with, or a soup and then the salad, and then kind of the main dish, which is usually a fish or some kind of meat with uh, potatoes or vegetables on the side. Oh, and I forgot, the salad is usually either tuna salad with different like peppers in it. It's called actually Russian salad, ensalada rusa, with mayonnaise and tuna and potatoes and vegetables and peppers. It's really good. Or it's just a green lettuce salad with tomatoes and cucumbers and onions and kind of a like a vinegar dressing on it. So pretty simple, but it's delicious. And then the, de the dessert isn't what we think of dessert as like a heavy cake or ice cream. It's usually a piece of fresh fruit just peeled with a knife and put on a little plate. And they have amazing melons in Spain and Madrid. I still think about them and it makes my mouth water. They're just so fresh and juicy. Or they have like cut up strawberries with just cream stirred in. So the, the desserts are actually healthy and they're, they're light, which is good because the portions of the main dish are really big. So by that point, you don't feel like you have much room left anyway. Uh, but S Spaniards, they go home. So businesses are open from nine in the morning to 8 p.m. and everything shuts down from two to five and everyone goes home and has medio dia, which means they have the big meal of the day all together as a family and friends sometimes are invited. So then they, they eat and then they have the table talk after. And then historically they take the siesta, which is a nap. But I noticed that not a lot of people do that anymore. They just talk or they, they're so full that they leave and they take a paseo. So they just walk up and down like the city, just strolling and talking pretty leisurely. And then they go back to work and they're refreshed and full. Like there's a saying in Spain that says, uh, barriga llena, corazón contento, which means full stomach, happy heart. They always said that to us. And I, that's kind of how, just how they live. Food is such an important part of their culture there. Other famous, famous dishes are tortilla de patata. It's like an egg and potato, sometimes onion, omelet. Uh, they just make with olive oil and you, they can add also ham or peppers or everyone kind of has their own way to make it depending in, depending on the bar or the restaurant or the family. They kind of have their, their special touch that they're proud of. Food in Spain is so good. Um, one of my pet peeves is when I tell people that I served in Spain and I start speaking in Spanish and they're like, oh my goodness, like, did you love having tacos all the time? And I look at them and I'm like, guys, tacos are a Mexican thing. Like I was in Europe. Um, so food in Spain is kind of similar to Italian food and kind of similar to French food, but it's also 
Spanish food. Uh, they use a lot more rice, where Italian people use noodles, and they don't really like spicy things. If you go to Spain, you need to try paella, which is, it's a rice dish with all sorts of, of different uh, mariscos, uh, seafood, like squid and sepia, well, sepia is a specific type of squid, and fish and uh, camarones. I don't talk about it in English, and so the words are hard to find. Um, shrimp, shrimp. So all of that, like mixed in and cooked with uh, with saffron and different spices and peppers in this rice, and you make it in a really big shallow pan on a grill. They actually like have these big cook-offs in in Valencia and in the south of Spain, and so like they'll just set up these big grills and fires in the streets with like these huge pans, and they'll just make paella, which is so cool. They eat a lot of salads and and they fry like chicken, like they beat it really thin and cover it in, in breadcrumbs and fry it. Like, Spanish food is just amazing. I really liked croquetas. It's like a dough kind of, but mixed up with like really finely chopped ham and and spices and then you kind of bread that and fry it. It's really good. Um, and canelones are these noodles, and then they chop up meat really fine with a bunch of spices, and they put it inside of like this noodle ring thing, and they put that all in a pan, kind of like enchiladas, and then cover it in like bechamel sauce, which is phenomenal. <laughs> um, but yeah, and candy, of course. European candy is just the best thing that ever happened to the world, right? <laughs> But so yeah, chocolate and bueno bars, things like that. Jamón serrano is kind of like a classic Spain thing. It's it's a cured pig leg that you like shave little pieces of ham off of. Chorizo is kind of like a cured salami sausage thing. Turon, oh my goodness. They make um, this candy. And they make it in so many different flavors that I'm really not sure what the definition of turon is besides the fact that it's completely full of sugar and it's a Christmas thing. But it's like probably a bar about this big. And my favorite kind was, imagine Nutella almost turned into like the texture of chocolate but not quite with Rice Krispies and like little chips of toffee in it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. There are lots of really good things in Spain that you that they aren't here. My parents actually came to pick me up and I had a whole list of things that I like wanted to make sure I brought back for my siblings. And the weekend that they came and picked me up was a festival weekend. And when it's a festival, they close everything from like Friday to Monday. And they, we were only there for a few days before we went up to France. And so everything was closed and I couldn't get Turon and I was really sad. <laughs> but I'm gonna go back, so it's okay. <laughs>